As a leader in H2S and Mercaptan treatment solutions, people ask us how we test for H2S and crude oil when we're on location. The short answer is, we run a modified ASTM 5705 test on that sample. So today, we'll take it step by step and demonstrate in this brief tutorial on how we test for H2S. To start, one needs the proper safety gear and appropriate testing equipment. The basic oil field personal protective equipment, or PPE, is essential. That includes fire retardant clothing, steel toe boots, a hard hat, and safety glasses. Nitrile gloves, H2S monitor, glass bottle, and rubber stopper, and finally, an air sampling pump and an assortment of H2S detection tubes. These can range from 0 parts per million to 40% or 400,000 parts per million. Next, we coordinate with the field operator to take a fresh sample. Each site is different, but sample points can be located off the heater treater, sales lack unit, or sometimes taken from the sales tank. We use glass Boston rounds, which are one liter, and we fill the bottle halfway. This allows for the H2S to break out in the headspace. Since H2S outgasses from the crude oil immediately, it's important to trap the sample right away. H2S is extremely toxic, so minimizing even the smallest exposure is critical. We use nitrile glove and a rubber stopper to get a good seal. Nitrile gloves are common in the chemical and medical industries as it can withstand potentially hazardous corrosive chemicals. As part of the ASTM 5705 testing procedures, modified for the field, we vigorously shake the sample for one minute. This further breaks out the H2S. Then we select a detection tube that matches the range we might expect for this particular sample, and we break the ends off to open the tube to atmosphere. When in doubt, select a wide range tube and perform this testing until an accurate reading is accomplished. Once the detection tube is broken, we attach it to the air sampling pump and carefully insert it through the rubber stopper, which has a pre-drilled hole, and break the glove seal. Nitrile gloves are puncture resistant, so this requires some finesse. Once the seal is broken, the tube may begin to absorb H2S. If this occurs, the indicator media in the tube changes color. To collect a proper sample, the pump handle is drawn up and clicks in place. Once the pump kit is not drawing up more vapors, some models have indicators to show a sample has been fully drawn, one can remove the tube from the rubber stopper in the pump and take the final reading. Before taking the reading, we safely dispose of the crude sample in a designated disposal tank. In this example, one can see that the media has absorbed H2S to a point that would correspond to a specific PPM level. And there you have it! A way to sample crude oil while on location. Once one determines the H2S level, an informed discussion can take place on how best to remedy the situation with Q2's suite of products.